Hey friends, my name is C and you're watching here, Mr. Easy. Welcome to a new video for IGCSE at Maths and today, we have the questions video for the integration of extra functions including exponential and reciprocal functions. And these questions are from this website right here, so I'll link it in the description for you to check it out. And before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we'll start with question 1. Integrate with respect to x of this integral right here. So let me just rewrite it. 5 into the power of x dx. So we know that whenever we have a constant in integration or in differentiation, we can just pull it out because it doesn't affect in the, um, the process. So, we can be, so it can be written as 5 and the integral of e to the power of x dx. And we know that the integral of e to the power of x is just e to the power of x, so it just remains and times by the 5, so it would be 5 e to the power of x plus c because it's an indefinite integral. And number 2, integrate with respect to x of this integral right here. So let me just rewrite it. The integral of e to the power of 4x minus e to the power of minus 4x. And for this square right here, this square, I'll just write it twice, write this function twice. So it will be e to the power of 4x minus e to the power of minus 4x dx. So now we have to expand the bracket by using the FOIL method by just doing the first term times the first term, first term times the second term, second term times the first term, and second term times the second term. So we have to use the rules of indices as well. So for the first term times the first term, e to the power of 4x times e to the power of 4x, you just add the power. So it'll be e to the power of 8x. And for the second term, it'll be e to the power of 4x plus so times e to the power of minus 4x. And we know that we add the power 4x plus minus 4x will be 0. So it will be minus e to the power of 0. And we know that anything to the power of 0 equals 1. Therefore it will be minus 1. And this term times this term also yields the same result of minus 1. So it will be 2 minus 1. And then the, the second term times the second term, it will be a plus e to the power of minus 4x plus times e to the power of minus 4x. So you add the power. So minus 4 plus minus 4, it'll be minus 8x. So e to the power minus 8 dx. And let's just um, rewrite it as e to the power of 8x plus e to the power of minus 8x minus 2 dx. And then we can now integrate e to the power of 8x and those other terms. So we know that for integration of exponential function, the coefficient is not written, but in this case, it's always 1. So it will be the coefficient over the, the derivative of the power. So in this case, the derivative of the power is 8 because the derivative of 8x is 8. So it will be 1 over 8 e to the power of 8x. And for the second term, the derivative of the power is minus 8 because, it, because the power is minus 8x. So the new coefficient will be 1 over minus 8. 1 over minus 8. Oops. 8 e to the power of minus 8x and then minus 2 will just, will just become um, 2x so minus 2x and don't forget a plus c because it's an indefinite integral and for the third question integrate with respect to x of this function right here so whenever we have a fraction that we have to integrate and if you see that the numerator on the top has more than one terms but the denominator or the bottom has only one term, you usually have to split the fraction. So this is split it e to the power of minus two e to the power of two x minus three over e to the power of x will be e to the power of two x over x. So e over two over e to the power of x. Like so e to the power of x dx minus e to the power sorry minus three over e to the power of x. And I split the integral as well so that it's easy to visualize. So we can now simplify it by doing e to the power of x because we know that using indices rule, a divide is basically the minus in power. So 2x minus x is just x. And for the second one, we can basically just pull the constant out. So it'll be 3, the integral of e, and then it just turns this into normal indices form, which is minus x dx. And here I should put a dx here. So we can now integrate it. And we know that e to the power of x just becomes e to the power of x, so it will be e to the power of x. And we know that for the second term, minus 3 divided by the new coefficient, sorry, minus 3 divided by the derivative of the power, 
and the power right here is minus x, so the new coefficient will be minus 3 over the derivative of minus x, which is minus 1. So it will be minus 3 over minus 1, which is plus, plus 3, times by this, e to the power of minus x, and plus c. And of course, we can basically express this right here as 3 over, e, uh, 3 over e to the power of x, but I'll just keep it like this for simplistic sake. And number 4, integrate with respect to x of this function right here. So it's just the same as other, other integrals. I can just pull the constant out first for e to the power of 1 minus 2x dx. So it'll basically be the coefficient, which is 4 in this case, or like 4 times 1 basically, over the derivative of the power. The power is 1 minus 2x, so the derivative will be minus 2. And then e to the power of 1 minus 2x, and the plus c because it's an indefinite integral. So the new coefficient will be, will be minus 2, e to the power of 1 minus 2x plus c, and that's the answer. And question 5, integrate with respect to x of this function right here. So whenever we have a fraction with the numerator as 1, and, and the denominator as a uh, two terms, which is a linear term, which is like something x plus something, we know that we have to use the integration of reciprocal functions rule. So we have 1 over 2x plus 1 dx here, and we know that the general formula is basically 1, 1 over f prime x, ln fx, f of x basically, plus c, where f of x is the denominator, so we know that d to 2x plus 1 is f of x. That means 2 equals f prime x, like so, right? So we can now rewrite this as 1 over f prime x is 2, so it will be 1 over 2. Well, let, me just, let me just use a new color. So equals 1 over 2 ln f of x is 2x plus 1 and plus c, and that's the answer. And of course, I can use bracket as well, but we need a modular symbol just to make sure that the, neg the, 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 the value inside this right here is not negative, because it can't be negative. And finally, we have this last question, question 6. Integrate with respect to x of this integral right here. So like just now, we can just pull the constant out, so it would be 3 times the integral of 1 over 3x plus 1 dx where 3x plus 1 is the f of x, and therefore 3 equals f of f prime x. So we have the general formula, l1 over f prime x, ln f of x plus c, like so. And we know that we have a 3 right here, so it would be a 3 times of this. So it would be 3 times 1 over f prime x, f prime x is 3, ln f of x 3x plus 1, plus c. So this should be here, because you shouldn't times the plus c by 3. Like so. so what we can do here is that we can just basically expand the bracket where this cancel out. So it will just remain as ln 3x plus 1. So therefore it will just be ln 3x plus 1, oops, 3x plus 1 modulus, plus c. And that's the final answer. And this is for this short video for the integration of extra functions including exponential and reciprocal. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please hit the like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And if you have any comments or constructive feedback about my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram or website, you can comment in the, uh, in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemiseasy.com And I hope you find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be the rules and examples for kinematics which is about mechanics. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.